Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a woman sinking in water digitally. I'm using Procreate but you can follow along with any digital program really. I created a screen size document, select a blue and the hard blend brush which is within the airbrushing menu. This image will be for the illustrated novel I'm working on. We drew the line of the surface of the water, now a circle for the head and the torso. Then the lower body, a line for the legs and the arms. Very sketchy. I'm improvising as I go. I didn't really work out the pose and all the details beforehand. This leg is way too long and I want the upper part of the body, including the head, to bend more, so we redraw it lower. The head should be a little bit larger, like this. I invite you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ArtistLeonardo, so that you can see what's new. I'll move this right leg a little bit lower and see how it looks. You know, I will bend it even a little bit lower. And by the way, the long version of this tutorial is in my Patreon account. You can find it with the link below. If we go to Actions and Canvas, we can flip the image horizontally to check it out. By looking at it from a new angle, we can find mistakes easily. We go back to normal and then I will actually flip it vertically to be able to draw the face better, in a more usual position. Let's select the face because I want to pull it out slightly and lower to get a better proportion. Good, we flip it around again and I will also extend the leg at the knee a little. Now on a new layer we choose a color for the skin and begin painting her. Remember that she's underwater, that is why the color is a bit grayish or bluish. You know, to make it more dramatic, I want to twist the upper body a little bit more. So we select it, including the head, and we rotate it slightly. Good! And we give a color to the background. A blue, a bit turquoise. On a new layer, let's paint her dress. For this we choose a medium grey. Do you remember how the skin used to look very greyish? Well, now that we added this blue to the background, now all of a sudden it looks very pink orange. So let's adjust that and make it more bluish grey again. This is in the adjustments button on the top menu and then color balance. All right, let's create a new layer to draw the hair on it. It should be flowing up as she sinks. And don't worry, in the novel a prince will come and save her just in time. <laughs> now, on a new layer, let's create some lights, some caustic lights. I'll color pick the flesh and then make it a little bit darker for the shading. I think in this way the lights will contrast more. Let's flip her around to draw her features more carefully. Ok, good. Now on a new layer we will draw the surface of the sea which is going to be very wavy, a dangerous ocean. <laughs> and 
and we can create the texture like this with uh, blues of different tonalities zigzagging or with strange patterns darker and lighter and some reflections with the very light blue and the soft airbrush we create a luminosity up here and we go back to the hard blend brush to keep painting the wave I love drawing so much. Every drawing is a challenge and I love that. Let's darken this area and then draw the foam or bubbles up here from the splash that goes inside the water. Actually for the bubbles let's do it even lighter and with a spray paint brush. Good. Let's go back to the soft airbrush and with this darken the bottom of the ocean as it should be. Let's add some sunbeams and if you got all the way to this point I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code. Let's go to the rescue. <laughs> we give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, don't forget to visit my Patreon with the link below, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.